greetings <laughs> on this solstice noon day thingy majiggy <laughs> it is super sunny outside like yesterday although it's not quite as hot yet thankfully um because that was a bit mad yesterday we had our uh our actual physical gathering last night I had a... <laughs> it was so hot we were just sitting and sweating <laughs> it was bad oh dear uh... <laughs> so it's just me today ian's not here he's um He's doing his Good Samaritan bit today uh, with a friend of his. Uh, so it's just me today. So, how are we on this beautiful day? As you can see, I've set things up a little bit differently today because I, I really just wanted to get this altar in. You obviously can't see it properly. Um, but I just wanted to get, you know, and the fact that it's, you can't even see out the window, but it's blue sky, we've got lots of cheese. So, yeah, I just wanted to, I don't know, shake things up a bit. <laughs> so, uh, we've got a few minutes yet. <laughs> I have a really funny story from last night, actually. Just looking over here, because um, my drum beater broke. Yeah. We well, didn't break. It's like the end flew off. Yeah. Uh, we were doing uh, one of our chants. Hi, Liz. Solstice blessings. <laughs> so we were doing our, um, we were jamming at the end, basically, because we like a jam at the end. We like a bit of jam. Um, <laughs> we were doing our uh, ancestors song. Um, you might have heard it. You might not have done. It's, uh, it's one that Ian wrote. And I was playing, uh, I used this, and uh, it's a big bit of wood we've got, and played with this beater. It sounds really cool, yeah? It's got a very deep sound to it. So there's me, you know, giving it some, and, you know, so they we're all singing, and all of a sudden the end flies off my beater, flies over <laughs> to the altar, bounces off the candle. Bearing in mind, this is quite a heavy end that was on the beater. Flew, oh, bounced off the candle. The candle wobbled and didn't even, you know, <laughs> didn't fall over. <laughs> it just, you yeah, know, like, that was it. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. It could have been like fire and everything. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Let me just, because um, I haven't got Ian's laptop today. 7 a.m. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you, Michelle. I hope you enjoyed your um, sunrise ritual this morning. I stayed up until the sun rose, and then I went to bed. <laughs> I said, morning, sun, and then I went to bed. <laughs> oh, dear. I have done all-night vigils. I did that with uh, winter solstice, actually. I stayed up um, with my Oak King candle lit, and it stayed lit all the way around till past sunrise. So I was quite chuffed about that. So I, <laughs> next day, I couldn't do anything. It was mad. So, yeah, um, what I realised when this happened, when the end of my beta fell off, and could have it could have been fire and everything, because this is um, felt. So it would have caught fire really easily. Um, and and <laughs> everyone's like, wow you're protected i'm like yeah i think i am <laughs> and there was something else that happened with fire as well i think um oh that was right i was striking a match and the end flew off <laughs> the lighted end of the match flew off the end of the match and thankfully didn't catch anything on fire so huge fire thing yesterday but thankfully nothing untoward happened so amazing <laughs> so yeah thought i'd share that um <laughs> so, how many have time? Do do do. Got one minute. So I'm just going to run through what we're going to do. So it's, it's similar to what we did last night. The only difference being 
um, is the group singing at the end because because we're not a physical group, it would be a bit difficult to do. <laughs> it'd just be me singing and not be able to hear you. Um, although, do you know what? Um, there's a, a program called Zoom, which I've recently come into contact with and is very good for doing like group work like this where you can interact so that might be something um i'll do for i don't know if it would be for luna Sud. it might be for sam wayne actually i might do it for sam wayne we'll see um because you can actually hear each other which is so cool um okay so we're going to ground using the drum um yeah last night we we cast a circle we stood up and cast a circle so what i'll do um is i'll cast a circle standing up so if you want to walk that with me you can and then i'm going to call the elements today i'm using my sword <laughs> as it's you know fire and all the rest of it it's got to be the sword um so we cast a circle, we walk the circle, starting from the east, going south, west, north, back to east, and then we call the elements. Oh, I will be standing with my back to you when I call the deities. Um, and we're gonna I'm gonna do it slightly different. So we're gonna call them. Um, so we're gonna call Breed and Lou, and then we're gonna call the ancestors as well, because it's that time of year. Well, the veil is thin, so ancestor contact is a lot easier. Um, so we're going to call Breed Lou. We're going to call the ancestors, and then I'm going to come back to sitting once I've lit the uh, candles. And we're going to the, the songs that I posted. Um, we're going to use them as an offering. <clears throat> we did it slightly differently last night. Um, after each call, we did the song, but th that would be a bit awkward tonight. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> this afternoon, sorry. Um, so call all of those. Oh, and then we're going to do something really cool. <laughs> and I'll tell you something, the energy that we created in our temple in here last night was incredible, yeah? You've probably heard of drawing down the moon, yeah? It's quite a common thing to do. But drawing down the sun, yeah? This book, I love this book, yeah? A lot of people say it's a difficult read. Oh, I fucking love this book, yeah? It's got some very obscure things in here. I love obscure. The more obscure, the better. <laughs> so when I was reading through this book yesterday, drawing down the sun, I'm like, wow, I like that. So I'm going to draw down the sun, um, and that was really, really powerful. Everyone felt their hands, the palms of their hands, get really, really hot. Um, and when we do that, we're going to take up this position. Now, let me just find my book, because there is a name for that. Bear with me. Whee! Uh, this is something I found out during my deity connection stuff I was doing. Um, just bear with me a minute. I have these little crazy tabs. I have crazy tabs everywhere in my books. <laughs> uh, where are we? Fire, forge, bread, do do do. Oh, Oran's position, yeah. And you have your so your shoulder and your elbow. And your wrist all in line yes yeah? so it's not this it's not this it's this yeah which is um for me what it what it's like is it's like you're receiving absolutely completely yeah because your palms are open and facing whatever it is that you want to receive yeah this is closed yeah energy can't enter the palms of your hands because in the palms of your hands you have energy centers yeah so if you're doing that, the energy went into the palms of your hands, yeah? Because these are very powerful. When you anoint with oil, so you can anoint your third eye, you can anoint the back of your head, your heart chakra, 
but if you anoint the palms of your hands before magic work <laughs> you'd be surprised how much difference it makes yeah do, 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 do. oh i can't read that <laughs> sorry michelle uh been up all night <laughs> you just bought the book yes it is very very cool it's it's quite old in its um ideas but you you generally find you know when you go back to like the not the original ideas but the old ideas the old ways of doing things you'll find some very amazing stuff in there um so yes this is orange position which is what we're going to use when we draw down the sun quite amazing yeah uh, yeah Okay, so drawing down the sun, do do do. Then I'm going to take you through a really cool visualization. Um, because not everyone can get to a sacred site on solstice, yeah. Not everyone lives near anywhere like that. A lot of people, you know, live in built up areas. Um, and you might not be able to travel to a sacred site, for example. So I'm going to take you through a guided visualization where you go to a sacred site. And from what people were saying last night um the the visuals are really good uh, and that's from this book the magical year which is a kind of a druidy book uh it draws a lot on druidery dru dru you know what i mean druidery <laughs> <laughs> ah words today um then we were after the visualization uh i'm going to use the chime today actually um, after the visualization, the sun, this is sun ray, which is beautiful. So I'm going to use that after the visualization. Yeah. Pardon me. Uh, and then we will deep open close. And see if anyone has any questions, um, and I'll go through what's on the altar as well afterwards. Um, and share your experiences and if you're watching the replay uh, and if you have any questions or anything you want to share put it in the comments yeah because inquiring minds want to know <laughs> okay so um if you've got your words to the songs make sure you yeah if you want to sing sing along then grab those uh do, do, do drum okay so we're going to ground first of all so if you've got a drum and you want to join in then do it otherwise <clears throat> you're going to um it's a funny thing with the drum because the drum uh, corresponds to the earth element because it's resonant yeah lots of things are resonant but the drum uh, particularly is very good for grounding and co and um, blah, 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 connecting that's the word <laughs> I'm not used to doing them this early well, it's not early but it's kind of early <laughs> um, it's very good for connecting and grounding to the earth yeah so if you're not playing a drum then really kind of get into that rhythm and the feeling of your body the lower half of your body getting heavy and you might find your body moving swaying yeah it's all good it, you might even find your body naturally comes into sufi grind so if it does that just let it do it yeah we're not deliberately doing that today but if your body wants to do it then just let it do it <laughs> okay so we're grounding so um another thing that can help is visualizing the color red at the base of the spine or roots going down into the earth yeah Your breath is relaxed.
Yeah, nice and relaxed, slow half through your body. Is nice and heavy. I'm not sure what you mean there, Michelle. I'm not sure what <laughs> I'm not sure what that was in response to. Okay. So we're going to cast the circle. I'm going to use my sword. And funny enough, um, so obviously it was Wednesday yesterday, it corresponds to Odin and Lou, and this is my Odin sword. So it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So we're going to start in the east. We're going to go clockwise, the yes, seal. So... We're just going to use the word circle, cast, circle, conjure. We're going to go around three times. Starting at east. So when you are casting your energetic circle, it's the energy coming from you down through your tool, through your aphrame, wand, sword or index finger, create, which creates that energetic barrier for want of a better word yeah that's what creates it it's nothing else it's your energy that's creating it okay circle cast circle conjure circle cast circle conjure circle cast circle conjure Circle cast, circle conjure. 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 Circle cast. Circle conjure, circle cast, circle conjure. Back to east. <clears throat> so with your athame wand, sword or index finger, you can either point up or down to the ground. And repeating after me. Elemental air, we call on you. The power to wonder. So we're going to draw our arc around to the south. Elemental fire, we call on you. The power to surrender. Draw that arc all the way around to the west. Breath. Elemental water, we call on you. The power to accept.
Ryan and she draws the art going out. She is in awe. Elemental Earth, we call on you. The power to resonate. Drawing that art around the back of the east. Take a couple of breaths there. So coming back to sitting, I'm going to light, I'm going to call each deity and then the ancestors and light the candles. And then I'm going to come back to sitting and we will offer songs to each deity and the ancestors. And that is the same song. Incense I'm burning today. It was a mixture of sun and fire, and now it's just fire because I ran out of sun incense. <laughs> <coughs> so we're going with Colleen Breed first. Goddess Breed. We invite you into our circle. Goddess of the hearth, goddess of poetry, goddess of bees, doorways. Welcome, Breed. Breed is come. Breed is welcome. Hail and welcome. So we're going to call you. God, Lou, the shining one, master of all trades. Silver-tongued bard, we invite you into our circle. Lou, Lou, shining one, into our circle we ask you come. We bid you hail and welcome. We're going to call the ancestors. So if you want a particular ancestor to come and sit with you during this ritual, then have them in your mind's eye. The ancestors have come. Here with me stand. Wherever the country, wherever the land, ancestors, we invite you into our circle and we bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. going to offer that's good I don't know if that shows my use that one
Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to begin the song. So if you want to join in, you can. If you just want to listen, that's fine as well. Okay. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. See the ravens come on wing, tis the time of quickening. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Moving from the bright one's hand, fire burns within the land. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. From the east rising sun, keeps alive the sacred flame. The eternal fire for all to see, the giver of the prophecy. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. Spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. <laughs> Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, brightest queen of morning song. Keeper of the sacred flame, from within the darkness came. You spring made from winter's crown, this queen of morning song. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Brit. <coughs> now. So we're offering this song to Lou, after which I will light a candle, the God candle. Lou of the sun, Lou of the sky, Lou of the summer days gone by. Lou of the harvest, corn and wheat, Lou of the blazing heat. King of the people, friend of the sheep. Father of heroes, son of the sea, giver of vitality, lord of the dances, he. Blue of the long arm, blue of skill, blue of courage, unbending will, blacksmith forging the battle spear, warrior revered. King of the people, friend of the she, father of heroes, son of the sea, giver of vitality, lord of the dances, he. Blue of lightning, blue of the storm, such stand steady with thunderous roar. Blue of black and sky and rain, power of hurricane. King of the people, friend of the she, father of heroes, son of the sea, giver of vitality, lord of the dances, he. 
handsome champion, eternal youth, fearless leader of strength and truth, host of games that field events, and peace filled with merry men. King of the people, friend of the sheep, father of heroes, son of the sea, giver of vitality, lord of the dance is he. Masterful bard, honey-tongued, musical loo, the shining one, plucking harpstrings of sorcery, golden poetry. King of the people, friend of the she, father of heroes, son of the sea, giver of vitality, lord of the dance is he. Loo of the sun, loo of the sky, loo of the summer days gone by, loo of the harvest, corn and wheat, loo of the blazing heat. King of the people, friend of the she, father of heroes, son of the sea, giver of vitality, lord of the dance is he, lord of the dance is he, lord of the dance is he. Thank you, Lou. Okay, Dalkey, I've gone to have a shake for this one. <coughs> so this one's more of a chant than a song. <coughs> for the ancestors. Ancestors, shining ones, guide us with your wisdom. Ancestors, shining ones, ones who've gone before. Ancestors, shining ones, may the gate be open. Ancestors, shining ones, join us at the door. Ancestors, shining ones, guide us with your wisdom. Ancestors, shining ones, ones who've gone before. Ancestors, shining ones, may the gate be open. Ancestors, shining ones, join us at the door. Ancestors, shining ones, guide us with your wisdom. Ancestors, shining ones, ones who've gone before. Ancestors, shining ones, may the gate be open. Ancestors, shining ones, join us at the door. One more time. Ancestors, shining ones, guide us with your wisdom. Ancestors, shining ones, ones who've gone before. Ancestors, shining ones, may the gate be open. Ancestors, shining ones, join us at the door. So we're going to draw down the sun. Okay. So if you want to, you can face south, if that's what you'd like to do. So coming into Oran's position. So our upper arms are parallel to the floor. Forearms are parallel to the wall, fingertips are pointing to the ceiling, and the hands are relaxed. Yeah. So when we're here, so if you need to at any time, put your arms down. Yeah. Maybe have them here. Yeah. It gets a bit uncomfortable. 
<laughs> so the hands relaxed. And we close our eyes. And I want you to visualize the sun. So that could be uh, from pictures that you've seen of the sun, or it could be as it appears in the sky to you. Whatever feels good for you. Okay. So eyes are closed. Take three deep breaths here. And then repeat after me. Deep is the call on high. The sun goddess and God. Breathe and loose. Let the hammer strike the anvil. Let the lightning touch the earth. Let the spear ensoul the chalice. Let the magic come to birth. Our sun, bringer of life, warmer of our hearts, we accept your gift. Taking a few breaths here, visualizing that energy of the sun, that warming, hopeful, uplifting energy moving through the palms of your hands, down through your arms, into your whole body, creating that light in your body. It's like you're recharging your batteries. See the sunlight, feel it. Breathe. And then we're, when that feeling begins to subside, you can slowly lower the hands and the arms back down. Take a few breaths here. <laughs> energy, like I've got an energy helmet on. Black man. Hmm. It's going all around here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take you through the visualization in the spirit of that energy that we've just downloaded. Yeah. So making yourself comfortable. So grab, you know, if you need to sit with your back against the wall, that's fine. Okay. 
and just take three deep breaths into the belly to bring yourself into that lovely centered place yeah So this visualization is um, it's a way to visit a sacred site in spirit as opposed to actually in a physical journey which you might not be able to do. So we're using our fertile imagination to visit an amazing place and it could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be Stonehenge. <laughs> it could be any stone circle anywhere. So breathing, your breath is relaxed and centered. And first focusing on your feet. And imagine yourself walking barefoot. Through the grass. The long grass, which glitters with dew all around you. It is night, with the first glimmers of dawn upon the horizon. The air is a deep blue. The green of the grass is rich and deep. Everything appears to be dusted with silver in the pre-dawn light. It is warm, but a cool breeze stirs your hair. Your heart beats steadily and slow to the rhythm of a drum you can hear a little distance away. As your awareness expands, you see there are others around you. There is an air of expectation, of suppressed excitement and joy. Everyone walks in rhythm with the drum. Slowly, the crowd grows and you ascend a gentle slope. On either side of you, is an avenue full of tall, pale standing stones, glittering silver grey and white. As you pass, you see a multitude of shifting forms upon their surfaces, the faces of men and women, animals, birds, flickering flames and the shapes of wind in the branches of trees. The memories of your people held for eternity on the stone. Slowly and steadily you make your way along the avenue. Hope and anticipation rising in your chest despite your weary feet. Ahead of you, rising up from the green turf, is a stone circle, pale and shimmering in the growing light. The first trill of birdsong seems to announce your arrival, and the air tingles with sanctity and power. The drumbeat is met by the sound of other drums. The very earth beneath your feet seems to thrum and rumble in the distance. As you approach the circle, you are met by a group of men and women who stand guard at the entrance. Some are holding flaming torches and spears, while others hold carved wooden maces with heads of flint. They bow in respect as you pass.
entering the circle. The very air seems to buzz with power. The drums boom, making the earth vibrate even more strongly beneath your feet. You join with the others, circling clockwise around the stones. Suddenly, there is the sound of horns and you see others toward the east, their arms raised as they blow into the mighty horns of an aurochs. The sound seems to fill the air and the echoes of the distant hills. Everyone turns to face the east as the sun rises. Pouring golden light over the edge of the distant hills, the sun's rays stretch over the land and between two standing stones directly ahead of you through a narrow gap. Like a golden laser, the light rises up your body until it reaches your heart. You close your eyes and take three deep breaths feeling the light and power of the sun at its height fill your body until your whole form is illuminated from within. As you open your eyes to meet the sun, the world around you shines with a heavenly glow. It's divinity revealed. Strength and vitality course through your veins like the very life force of the earth, raising you to ecstasy as you know in this moment that you are made of the very fire of creation itself. Slowly, the light fills the whole circle and you feel the energy within you begin to settle. You take another three deep breath. And another three. Holding as much of the sun's power within you as you can so that you may carry it forward through the winter, still far ahead. Bowing, you thank the sun for all its gifts and then raise your arms and your face to bathe in the new light. A wave of joy and exultation seems to swell through the crowd all around you as mothers hold up their babies to the sun for blessings. Elders sit with their backs to the stones, their faces raised to the light and their eyes closed. Gentle smiles upon their lips. A fire is lit in the center of the circle and young men and women begin to shout and leap around the flames and the drums begin once more, this time in celebration and delight.
slowly when you are ready. You turn to the west and leave the circle behind you. Reaching your hands on either side, you brush the stones with your fingertips as you pass and return the way you came. You know it is time to return home to your body and the present time. So retrace your steps back along the path. Back to your home back to your safe space. Feel yourself back into your body, back, back to the here and now, back into your body. back into the room. Feeling the ground underneath you. Moving your fingers and toes. And rubbing the hands together. waking up those energy centers in the palms of your hands and then placing them over the eyes. Breathe. And release. So before uh, we devoke and close, we're just going to ground. So we're going to take our first two fingers. We're going to plug them in like a plug into a socket. Yeah, so we're plugging into ground. That's our connection to the earth. And then I want you to visualize a ball of white, silver or gold light above your head. And then that light, that ball of light moves down through your body. And it picks up any residue energy that you might have in your body through this magic work we've done today. The idea being it's like a cleanse and it also helps to ground you. The plugging in grounds you, but this will just take that energy, that residue energy, down, either down through the feet or down through your fingers and back into the earth. So we're recycling any unused energy, energy that we don't need, down and giving back to our mother the earth. So you can just do that once or you can do that a couple of times, whatever feels good for you. It's a bit like the Star Trek scanner, the old Star Trek scanner. Yeah, breathing. When you're ready, release. Ooh. Open the eyes. So 
So before we devoke and close, it's the chime. So we're going to devote. So again, I'm going to stand for this. So can you repeat after me? Ancestors, shining ones, we thank you for joining us in our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, we bid you hail and farewell, hail and farewell. Luz, shining one, all father, god of the sun, we thank you for joining us in our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, we bid you hail and farewell, hail and farewell. Breathe. Goddess of Fire, we thank you for joining us in our circle. Stay if you will, go if you must, we bid you hail and farewell, hail and farewell.
Let the circle be open but unbroken. May the God and the Goddess be ever in your heart. Merry meet and merry part and merry meet again. Blessed be. <laughs> wow, that was very cool. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed that this afternoon it is afternoon this afternoon um so i'm just going to talk a little bit about what i've got on the altar here and why because when i was doing my my bit of reading yesterday um because it's a funny thing it's a funny thing uh the solstice is it's not seen as a greater Sabbath, it's, it's, it's kind of seen as a lesser Sabbath, but fire orientated, yeah. And when I was doing my research yesterday, because uh, there's a lot of focus on the God oh, at um, uh, summer solstice, which is great, um, but it is also, um, it's also a water festival which is the goddess element of the, um, the energy at this time of year. Because it is from the goddess that the, the fruitfulness comes, yes? The god is obviously, you know, plays a part in that because things out there are still being seeded and growing. But the, the goddess is the one who gives birth to all of what's out there yeah so she plays an important role hence why i have the, the candle for the god but this is my my little cauldron which comes from the water altar it belongs over there on the water altar and it's got water in it uh because my <laughs> my big cauldron where i burn stuff in it all the time it it's not good for putting water in it just ends up with a big yucky mess <laughs> so um I've used my, my small one from the water altar, which is perfect because it's, you know, water, um, to put the water in to um, symbolise the goddess. So that's why I've got one candle. I haven't got two candles. I've got the candle for the god, fire, sun. And although Breed is a fire goddess, she is also the goddess of healing water, so healing wells whatever that is yeah healing waters so it just all fit really nicely <laughs> together it was like wow that's very cool um so that's why i've got a cauldron of water on this little altar here um i've got all the main stuff on the big altar so all the candles uh, the offerings which is i've got water and then i've got apricots and oat cakes I've got the first pentacle of the sun, which is getting an amazing charge up in, uh, from yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Um, what else have I got? I've got hairs. My hair bookends are up there. Crystals. Um, I've got orange calcite and sunstone. And then here, in this little pot here, I've got a piece of amber, Baltic amber, piece of angelite, a piece of citrine calcite, and a piece of aquamarine. Aquamarine? No, that is amazonite. So there's a, a different crystal for each element there. Um, and even the metals, I even thought about the metals in this one. So when this was set up on the big altar yesterday, uh, this is iron, which corresponds to earth. Uh, I've got like a Pewtree tin type thing, which is air. I've got, uh, that, that's copper, copper, which is water. And I've got brass, which is fire. So it, it all kind of come together. It was quite amazing how it all come together. Um, and I've also got my little, oops, <laughs> my little fire and water talisman things. Which, funny enough, were given to myself and Ian many, many years ago by a good friend of ours. 
who because because you know we've kind of walked witchy paths both separately and when we came together we kind of were doing that more but we never fully embraced it because there was always a bit of fear around it about what people would say or think or whatever um but our friend knew us better than we knew ourselves because she got us these and there's one for each element uh although not air uh not ether sorry got um fire water earth and air uh but not ether which is quite interesting um what else have I got my normal the usual bell uh a bremelin oil which I put on my palms earlier I will see my sword the sword um what else is on there Oh, I've got the, the sun wheel as well at the back there. And fairy lights, obviously. So, oh, and the um, the oil that I anointed myself with earlier, that is a mix of Breed, um, the, the blend for Breed, and also um, the blend for the sun. Um, and I just put them both together. <laughs> and it's really nice, actually. It's a nice... Nice little blend. Okie dokie. So does anyone have anything that they want to share? I love to know these things, yeah? <laughs> when we have our actual gatherings, it's like I'm very insistent on <laughs> people telling me what they've experienced. Because it, it's, I don't know, I'm just fascinated. Because different people experience these things. In very different ways um, some people see mad visuals other people get sounds or they sense stuff or it smells it could be you know you can experience these things in so many different ways it's um it's fascinating I find it absolutely fascinating um, how people experience things so Liz or Michelle do, do you want to share anything that you experienced during this ritual, so I've got an itchy finger. <laughs> Don't know why. Is there anything that you'd like to share? <laughs> and did you enjoy it as well? I hope you did. Um, everyone last night loved it. <laughs> I'd say it was a little bit different last night because we had like a bit of a jam and a group sing song at the end. Um, but it's a bit difficult to do when you're doing Facebook lives. Ah, now, that's the thing that I have. I don't have the scroll, so I'm going to come over there. Whoopsie. I forget. I don't have the scroll facility when I do. Anyway, so let me get one. I can't see any more comments. Oh, Michelle, so I, I couldn't make out what that was, that last comment you made. Uh, that could be internet. I don't know. There's a lot of solar stuff going on at the moment, so it affects internet and everything. So, so it seems um, my laptop has been having a bit of a time recently. <laughs> As has Netflix, actually. Netflix is just doing some very strange stuff sound things at the moment um so it could all just be um solar energy that's going on at the moment um oh wow energized and calm that is always good <laughs> um it's quite amazing when that happens it, it's it's like a oh, it's getting on my sword or something <laughs> Uh, it's it's almost like a um, complete opposite to each other, the air being energized but calm. But when that happens, it's very, very cool. So thank you, Liz. I hope you enjoyed it. And Michelle, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, for any of you watching the replay, oh, this, yeah, this is really, really good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So um, 
definitely do it local time, 12 noon, yeah, because that's when the sun will be at the highest. Um, grab all the bits that you need, like candles are very good. Um, I had great fun yesterday once I'd cleansed the temple and swept it out and everything. Uh, and then set it all up. I had great, I took great pleasure in throwing um, dried, was it marigolds, marigold, lavender, and chamomile, just chucking dried flowers everywhere. So it looked like a lot nest if you will. <laughs> so set up your space. You know, make make a make a thing of it. Set up your space in, in the way that you want to. You can see I've got the little fire over there as well. A little fire lamp. Uh, we had two of them going last night, so I was good. Uh, very, very cool actually. We love doing the, um, well, we love doing them both. We love doing the Facebook Live and also the actual, like, real world stuff. Very cool. Okay. So, uh, like I say, if you're watching the replay, enjoy. Uh, set your space up in, in, in the, the, the way that you want to. Um, and, I, and I'll say it all the time. <laughs> If you know someone who would love what we do, then definitely invite them along to this as well. Um, do, 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 do. These videos are also available on our YouTube channel, The Witches Bazaar. Um, I don't think I've done a specific guided meditation for summer solstice, uh, but there are other ones around. There might be one actually, there might be a summer solstice one on the website, on the Witches Bazaar website. Um, and if it's not in sound bites, it will be in the VIP area. Uh, what you have got in the VIP area is our uh, audio player. So we've got a magic audio player and a Kundalini audio player. So in order to access them, you need to sign up. So there's a couple of minutes, name, email address, that's it. And you get access to hidden pages, magic audio players, recipes, uh, all our video diaries, which are very cool on our uh, camping adventures and whatnot. Um, there's also little bits of further knowledge in there as well, around dark moon stuff and things like that, seals of Solomon. Um, for our courses, go to uh, the path of witchcraft.weebly.com and there's uh, information on our courses in there. Uh, very shortly, because we're we're actually this is a bit of news actually that people need to listen to. Yeah, um, we're actually changing the way that we deliver our courses to you. So we were uh, delivering them via Thinkfit, uh, but what I've kind of found it's a great platform, but um, we're trying to cut down our costs, and the free version is very intricate. And I don't like that. <laughs> so we're moving. We are gradually transitioning our courses over to Google Drive, which just gives me complete control over the whole thing, yeah, which is what I want. Um, I don't want restrictions on, you know, prices, you know, if I want to do a special offer. I don't want that restricted by, you know, a company just because, you know, I'm not paying for the privilege. Um, so... I am sending out emails around that, so please make sure you look at your emails because at the end of this month, by about the 28th of June, so that's only uh, seven days time, our, account, our, think, our Academy on Thinkific will no longer be there, yeah? Now in the emails that I'm sending out, there are links to um, any of the courses that you've signed up for, yeah? So whether um, whether that's through uh, you just come straight to the academy or you've actually signed up with your email address and everything, uh, there will be an email going out to you with links to you know Google Drive where we're now storing our courses. Yeah, so please, because <laughs> I don't want hundreds of emails from people saying where's my course because I've already sent out the emails to you. Yeah, so look at your blooming emails. <laughs> it's very, it's important because I don't want you to lose access to the course. Yeah, to any courses that you've signed up for. 
uh, was that pre or post? Yes. Um, uh, so, uh, so I will be setting up uh, ways to pay for the courses via um, classofwitchcraft.edu.com, which will be via PayPal. Yeah. Um, so that will be set up by the end of the month. That's what I'm aiming for with that. Uh, so it'll all be done through our two websites. Yeah. Which is bizarre.com, which is where you can buy lots of stuff. And you know, just this place is a really cool place to hang out. Actually, it's like it's our home, but it's online. <laughs> yeah, cool place. Check it out. Um, and then all our courses and anything around the courses is um, on classofwitchcraft.weebly.com. Okay, so there's everything there. Yeah, about our courses. Okie dokie. So. Uh, that's it for today. There's no Jupiter um, in our abundance this evening because we've been working, you know, we're working in solstice energy. So if you did want to do Jupiter in our abundance today, blimey in here, um, then, you know, there's plenty of Jupiter in our abundance videos in the video section, not that way, that way. <laughs> They're there, okay, um, in the group. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, they'll be around somewhere. So if you click on the link here, it'll take you to our video. Yeah. Uh, if you're on Pinterest watching this, uh, they'll be around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me for the uh, solstice. Very cool. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And yeah, live long. Whoops, <laughs> can't be used to this thing going around the wrong way. Live long and prosper. And we will see you on, I think, Thursday is the next one. Just let me check. Uh, I think next Thursday. Oh, my calendar's all over there. I think it's next Thursday anyway. So, Jupiter in uh, abundance. Uh, which will be coming to an end soon, and we're going to be working on shutting that out there, yeah? Because uh, Jupiter goes direct on the 10th of July. Very cool. Thank you, guys, and we will see you soon. Blessed be.